what's going on guys? Kieran O'Brien back here with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about how to onboard your Facebook ads, SMMA clients properly. And guys, I wanted to make this video because I recently watched another uh, social media marketing, digital marketing influencer make a YouTube video about how to do this and they kind of gave you all the wrong information. So I'm not gonna name any names, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it the right way, how to set everything up so that you don't have to worry about um, having access to different things once you're already running ads for your clients. You're gonna get access to everything on day one. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how my process works and how I get access to all these different things that you need access to in order to run Facebook ads for your marketing agency clients. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna screen share you the entire process and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So guys, welcome into my computer and this is the Facebook Business Manager. And so number one thing you need to know, if you are running Facebook ads for a marketing agency client or uh, maybe this is your first time running Facebook ads, even for yourself, you need a business manager, okay? And I'll tell you why. Number one, it is way, way, way easier to organize everything that you're doing when you have a business manager. And I'll tell you a little bit about the setup. So. Essentially, a business manager is a, an account that compiles all of your different um, assets on Facebook. So it has all of your pages, your ad accounts, all the people that work for, for you and for your agency, um, your pixel data, your catalogs, everything is kind of all compiled into one place, right? And so there's two types of business managers that you're gonna be dealing with as an agency owner. You're gonna be dealing with your business manager, your agency's business manager and you're gonna be dealing with your client's business manager. Each business that's running ads on Facebook, whether you're an agency or whether it's a small business and you're the agency that's running their ads, every single business needs its own business manager um, because it's just so, so much easier to organize everything that way. So, with that being said, the second reason why you need a business manager is actually because of this horror story that I heard about when I went to uh, my mentor, Joe Soto's mastermind in Washington, DC um, back in January. Uh, there was a guy there who owned a marketing agency and he was telling everybody that was at this uh, mastermind about how he got banned from Instagram, right? For doing some sort of like, like bot followers or something. His Instagram account got banned, right? Now, it was a chain reaction because Facebook owns Instagram. So, naturally, his Facebook account got banned too. And he was running an agency, had like seven, eight clients at the time. Guess what happened to all of his clients? Because he was an admin on all of his clients' Facebook pages, he got all of his clients' Facebook pages banned from Facebook, okay? So, there's one worst case scenario why you should never, ever, ever do anything for your agency on the personal Facebook level, okay? Never do that. If anybody gives you that advice, they're wrong, okay? Never do any of this stuff that we're talking about as your own personal Facebook profile, okay? Do it everything through Business Manager. Um, and then secondly, the reason you don't wanna do that is because in order to be an admin of a Facebook page, you have to be friends on Facebook with the, ad, with the owner and the admins of the page meaning that you have to be friends on Facebook with all of your clients. Now, I don't know about you guys, how you operate your agency, but I prefer that my clients don't know a lot about my personal life. Business is business, personal life is personal life. That's how I like to keep it. I don't need my clients knowing about where I'm going out to eat on a Friday night. I don't need them seeing into my personal life on Facebook because my Instagram is one thing. That's a public thing that, that anybody can look at. My Facebook is way more private. I keep things personal on there and etc. And I'm assuming most of you are the same way. You don't want to be friends with your clients on Facebook. That's just a little bit ridiculous. And especially if you're scaling your agency and you've got, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 clients, you know, that's a lot of friends on Facebook that are seeing all of your stuff and it's just a pain in the butt. It's just bottom line, regardless of everything I just said, it's not the right way to do it. So now without further ado, we're gonna jump into showing you how the right way to do it um, is properly done. And um, you might be wondering why I have this tab pulled up here, restaurants near me. Um, I just wanted to pull something up here. Um, let's see, Oregano's Pizza Bistro. That's the restaurant that we're gonna be using as an example. We're gonna pretend like they're our client in this video. And so breaking this down now for you guys, um, there are a number of different assets that Facebook has that you need access to when you're onboarding a social media marketing agency client. 
Now, depending on the business, you might need access to certain ones and not need access to other ones. It really just depends. Um, but in this scenario, I've created this own my own little business manager here. I'm not using my agency's business manager because I have a lot of client data and sensitive things in there. Um, unfortunately, it is all set up properly, um, but I just can't show that to you. My editor would have to do a lot of blurring and everything like that. It's, it's just not worth the hassle. So I've created a test business manager for the purposes of this video. Um, and we're gonna kind of walk through how to do this properly. So you'll see, to set up a business manager, you need a page, an ad account, and people, right? So so keep in mind, this is your agency's business manager. This is your business manager. And so this page right here, you're going to add a page. That's going to be your agency's Facebook page. Uh, and then you're going to add an ad account. That's going to be your agency's ad account. You're going to add people. Those are going to be all of your agency employees or agency contractors, whoever's managing the social media for you, whoever's running the ads for you, whoever's doing um, the, the financial, the reporting, whatever it is, anybody who's who needs access to the data for your clients in your agency, you can add them right here. Now, this button right here, business settings, is going to be your best friend when you're setting up a business manager. Right here in business settings, it shows you literally everything that you need to see um, within the business manager. So you can see here, this is me, right? This is my personal Facebook profile, okay? And I have access to um, whatever um, I wanna add myself to. Okay guys, so I actually just went ahead and added my own personal Facebook page in here, again, for the purposes of this video. And so now you can see, um, if we go to people here, Kieran O'Brien, this is me, this is my personal Facebook profile. If I click add assets and I go to pages, now, right here, you'll see a list of all the pages that your business manager has access to. And when you start closing clients for your social media agency, all of your clients' pages will be right here. So now I click on this, and again, let's pretend that Kieran O'Brien is one of my employees. Let's say that they just, um, let's say that they're just publishing content, right? They're just managing, um, you know, the, the posting and everything like that. That's all they're doing, um, and that's all the permissions that they need right there. They don't need to manage jobs or view earning insights. They don't need to do anything else. Then we would click save changes. All right, and so now the assigned assets you can see like this would be a list of your entire employee um, contractors everybody here and you'd be able to see what what they have access to specifically so with that being said this is kind of like this left hand column is kind of your guide um, when you're onboarding clients when you're adding data and assets here so let's let's walk you through um, you know let's say we closed oregano's pizza bistro like i showed you the restaurants near me we would come here and we'd click add right we'd request access to a page so let's type Oregano's Pizza Bistro, Old Town, Scottsdale. Now, if you are the agency, you're gonna want access to everything. So you're gonna click right down here, manage page. It'll highlight all this stuff. Um, I mean, you can click this if you want to, and then you would request access. I'm not gonna request access because that's a little bit weird. Oregano's is right over there and I, I eat there frequently. So I'm not gonna request that, but this is what you would do. Um, and then when you're in your meetings with your clients or when you're on the phone, when you're emailing them, whatever, they know that this request is going to be coming. Now, when you send this request, when you click this blue button, two things are gonna happen. Number one, they're gonna get a notification on their Facebook page that you're requesting access to their business and then they're gonna be able to accept or deny it. Uh, and then number two, they're gonna get an email most likely um, to the email address that's associated with their business manager or their Facebook page. Um, and it's gonna say, hey, uh, such and such agency is requesting access to your business page. Um, do you want to accept? So that's kind of how that works. That's how to get access to the page. Now, the ad accounts are a little bit more tricky. Um, so if we come here and we click add ad account, right? We're gonna request access as well, okay? Now, ad account ID. How do you request access if you don't know their ad account ID, okay? Easy, on your onboarding form, which is the form that you should be sending to all of your clients when you close them. It, it's where you get more information about their business. It's where you get all the contacts to their, you know, whatever uh, points of contact you need in their business, their web developers, whatever it is. You also put a question in there on your onboarding form. I do mine through Google Forms. You put a question on there saying, what is your Facebook business manager or Facebook ad account ID? And you're able to um, get their answer right there on the onboarding form. Now, a lot of businesses, don't understand how this works, right? They don't understand Facebook ads. They don't understand how any of this stuff works. So what I did for my agency and what I would recommend for you guys 
is I just went on and I have you know my camera that I film my YouTube videos with and I just recorded um, kind of a screen share just like this one, like an over the shoulder screen share and I literally walk through exactly how on my client's end they need to accept all of these things um, and then I made it a, uh, a semi-private YouTube video where it's only viewable if you have the link. So in my onboarding form, when I request access to their ad account, I have a link to a private YouTube video that's literally like 45 seconds long where I show the business owner, I show my client exactly how to walk through this process and accept my request to their Facebook page and then also how to get their ad account ID so that they can put it into the onboarding form for me. And then same thing here, when I send this request, they're gonna get a notification um, saying that such and such agency is requesting access to your ad account and then they can accept it there. Now, once this is done, you have access to all of their stuff. You have access to their page, to their ad account. You don't need access to their Instagram account here. As you can see, this is my, uh, my personal Instagram. You don't need access to their Instagram account here. All you needed for that is just their username and password. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Another cool thing that you can do when you're onboarding clients is actually create a project out of them. So if you come here, let's say um, oregano's, oregano's, oh, I can't spell today, pizza, next. Um, and then we would add the page, add the ad account, right? And then we would save changes. And then now you have an actual like project here where it kind of breaks down everything that they have and you can organize it that way as well. That's helpful. I do that um, frequently on my agency's business manager. Now, uh, the next thing that pretty much everything before this is for local businesses. If you guys are working with any e-commerce or bigger companies, this is important, right? they might have a catalog, especially if they're selling things online, they might have a catalog. Now, their catalog ID, um, this is a, where things get a little bit tricky. Um, it's just like a Facebook ad account, um, but again, it's a catalog of products that they sell online. So um, depending on if it's Shopify, if it's Magento, if it's you know one of these other e-commerce um, platforms, uh, it just depends on how they set up their catalog. Sometimes they haven't set up their catalog and you're gonna have to do that for them. But long story short, once the catalog is set up, you're gonna be able to go into their business manager, into their ad account and find that catalog ID and then request access to that as well. And then in some situations, you might want access to their pixel too um, to be able to um, see all of their pixel data. Most of the time, you'll just be able to see their pixel data when you're inside of their ad account and you go to pixels. Um, but for some reason, you know, Facebook doesn't always work properly. Sometimes I'll have a client where I onboard them, I get access to their ad account, and then for some reason, I don't have access to their pixel. Um, so pixels, just like catalogs and ad accounts and everything else, have their own IDs as well. So you can just come here and request access to the pixel as well. Um, and actually, sorry, I take that back. You can't request access to the pixel because it only lets you create one. What you can do is go uh, onto their business manager or tell them how to do this. They can share access to their Facebook pixel with you um, through your business manager ID. And so each business manager has its own business manager ID. You just scroll down here to business info. Um, and right here, this is your business manager ID. Um, and then so if you need access to their, to their catalog or their Facebook pixel, um, then you can send them this. And then um, when they are adding somebody to their Facebook pixel or their Facebook um, catalog, they'll, they'll just type that number in and that's how you do that. So. Guys, I hope this answered your questions. Um, I really hope people stop spreading false information out there and telling you to add things to your personal Facebook profile because that is how you can get yourself into some very deep legal trouble. Um, the guy that I uh, was referencing earlier in this video that uh, ended up having a bunch of his clients' Facebook pages deleted um, actually did get, uh, get a couple lawsuits filed. And so that's never fun. Don't do that. Listen to me, please, and do it this way. Everything should be done through a business manager so that you're not personally tied to any of these things. Um, it's kind of the same way like doing business as a sole proprietorship versus an LLC. It just gives you that protection personally um, from anything that might happen. Um, you can kind of think of the business manager as like an LLC uh, for your Facebook ads. Um, it's just a layer of protection. Um, and also on top of the protection aspect, it's so much easier because everything's nice and organized. Um, now, last thing before I let you guys go. 
Um, one of the points that this other person made when they made their YouTube video about how to do this stuff is that um, you want to have access to their uh, Facebook page personally because on the Facebook mobile app, you won't be able to do stuff. You don't use the Facebook mobile app in the first place. I'll show you what to use. All you need to get is the Facebook pages app. It looks like this. It's a uh, orange uh, flag flag logo. And within your Facebook pages app, as long as you are an admin of that page, so if you come here, boom, business page, and you add yourself as an admin, you still get access to all the pages right here. I'm not gonna show you because I have all my clients here. Um, but you'll have access to all the pages in there uh, when you are an admin through your business manager. So just get the Facebook pages app, save yourself the, you know, the stress and the disorganization of doing it the, you know, that other way. This is the best way to do it. So I hope this helped you guys. Um, please let me know if this was helpful. Drop a comment, drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will be uploading another YouTube video tomorrow. So look out for that one. Um, and also if you guys have any future video ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Drop a comment of some ideas, some things that you want to hear me talk about. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.